everybody, I'm here again with my friends Kiam and the technique that I will show you today is one very effective technique by old judo rules, Tegruma. A lot of people say, don't enter with your left leg, it's a common mistake and he can attack you. But also, a lot of people say, don't enter with your right leg, it's a common mistake and he can attack you. Where is the truth? The truth is that the both options are possible to use. And today I will show you the options with left leg. Let's begin. If you are new to this channel, welcome. In this channel we talk about judo, gym workouts and conditioning workout also related to judo. You can download my free PDF book from beginners to advanced judoka in 8 easy steps. Links in the description below. When we want to do the grumo, we have to bring the arm of the opponent up and then slip on the ear. Of course, we have different options. Today, I will show three options. The first one, and in, in the easiest one, is when you take this grip. Now, I just touch his elbow and bring his arm up like this. This movement goes explosive, and then I slip on the grip. One more time, he takes me this grip. I touch his arm here, here to the elbow and slip on the grip. The second option, with wrestling, he want to take my lapel, I see his reactions and I bring his arm up like this and slip on the grip. One more time, with wrestling, he want to take my lapel, I bring his arm up and slip on the grip. And the third option. While we rest, I control his wrist like this. Now I bring his hand up. His reaction is he won't take my uh, he won't take the grip and then I slip under his hand. One more time. I control the wrist, I bring his arm up and slip under it. Today I will work with the first options. Okay, we have quasi situation, right side versus right side position and quasi grip. My grip is quasi, he take, he take in this grip. But now I will change the grip with my right hand and I take here below the triceps and the shoulder to down like this very hard. Grip. This is much more effective with this technique and I will explain later why it's much more effective. Okay, I take his armpit, he takes this grip. Now I bring his arm up, I slip under it and then I do one step forward with my left leg here. Look, look where I step. I step here not so close to his leg here in the same time i pull with my right hand okay we have arm up step and pull pull arm up step and pull when i pull i block his upper body therefore in the beginning i change the grip because if I take his grip, I can drop his shoulder. And when I do the step, his shoulder is blocked like this. If I take the lapel and I enter, I can drop his body, but his shoulder is free and he can go back. Therefore, I always take this grip. Here. And we have arm up, step and pull. Now his upper body is blocked. Arm up, step and pull. Arm up, step and pull. And step number two. With my right leg, I do one step forward and squat 
Why, please? I step between his legs and squat. Now, with my left hand, I take, I take his leg up. Hook. With my left hand, I take his leg here. Up. Don't take the leg here. This is mistake. I use my left hand like a hook and I take his leg up like this. We have one and two. The right leg and the left hand work together. One, two. One and two. One, two. And step number three. I stand up, I take my upper hand and I throw like this. Now I will stand up the movement on the throw. The movement look like this. With my left hand I take his leg and with my right hand I take his shoulder. While I stand up I pick his leg up and with my right hand I pull his shoulder down. The movement look like this. With partner Walk. This is very important because if I just stand up, I do the technique, and if I just stand up, he can hook like this. Therefore, when I talk, when I stand up, I will take his body. Now I will show the technique in every side. Beep. Arm beep. Step number one. Arm up. Step in two. Step number two. Left hand take the leg and with right hand, with right leg step. And step number three. Stand up. Rotate the body throw. One, two, and three. Write me in the comment, do you want to show you take room with right leg enter? Catch you dockers, subscribe to the channel, till next time. Hi from the gym, you know that the grip is very important for judo, but for take room it has a special role. Because we have to pick up the opponent in the air and rotate him. Therefore, I will show you one of my favorite exercises for grip and explosive pulling with my key. Now, I will use the Smith machine, but if you don't have a Smith machine in your gym, you can use everything who is appropriate for the exercise. I hook my gear 
and I take the grip. You can take the lapel or the sleeve or do you prefer. I put my legs high. You can use just one bench for the legs. Now I do a straight position and I will pull myself up explosive. I breathe out while I'm pulling myself up. Don't forget to write me in the comment do you want to show you take room with right leg and turn.